Let's go to your phone calls. Eric in Missouri. Obama is intimately aware of his precious little zombie children coming up that will be uh, rolled into the new super state. Uh, what did you call about today, uh, you evil person? Alex, everything you just said was so racist. I just can't even believe it. This is Info Warrior calling from Missouri with some truth bombs for the public. Everybody can look up Google.com and Google Costco, former CEO. That's all you have to do. And you'll get the backstory to this story. No, no, no. He ordered Dinesh D'Souza's book off the shelves. And I've never even told this story. I was trying to do a distributorship deal. This is what the Democrats do about a year ago. And I was told in the meeting, we're never going to put your coffee on our store shelves because you've talked bad about Costco. And I said, no, I haven't. don't remember doing that. But and, go, and they, they, they said the date and what I had said about the CEO in the magazine I read from Costco the free magazine they give out about how wonderful Obama is and how wonderful socialism is. And, and, and literally that's how controlled they are. And that's the system they're going to have where you don't have a job unless you work for El Jefe. I mean, that's pretty scary, isn't it? It sure is. Well, I emailed the current Costco CEO and I'm not going to name him because he actually replied to me. I was shocked, but I got their little PR release a few minutes ago and it's basically a big pathetic, denial that they pulled we the stopped from. carrying his book because it didn't sell even though it was a bestseller in the middle of it it says costco is not a bookstore our bookshelf space is very limited we exercise discipline in the best utilization we're actually psychopathic black op commanders who put cancer viruses in the vaccine and our life extension program for the alpha centauri's launch is on schedule oh excuse me i'm liberal oh give me everything or you're racist um, <laughs> 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 to political candidates or parties left center right or other period costco does not have a political action committee meanwhile alex the true info warriors the guys with blood pounding through their eyeballs when they see this kind of bullcrap the kind of people that racist, live on racist, 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 oh racist, racist. Hold on, hold on. CJ wants to say something. CJ said he uh, went there and there was a giant pyramid of Hillary's book that isn't selling well called I'm a Bloated Disease Maggot. Go, go ahead. Yeah, there was no copies of America, but Hillary's book was uh, in a big old pile as big as Texas, untouched. No fingerprints on the covers, nothing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's a group of trendies dancing around it, chanting. You're kidding. No, I'm kidding. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They were busy buying oh Albright. Oh, my gosh. Anything else, Eric? Yeah, I'll just say that I, as soon as I got the email, I just replied, pathetic. The guy wrote back, oh, thank you. Sorry you feel that way, and good luck. No, he's I like, sorry, G.I., we just come in peace, lay down and take some shots, drink some water, feeling better now, the glands are shutting down, when your pancreatic cancer's going well, we're liberals, we're liberals, we're not psychopathic eugenicists or anything. I'm sorry, go ahead, sir. I said, hey, forward my email to Jim Senegal, your former CEO, who at the Democratic National Convention Wednesday night, the co-founder and former CEO of Costco, plugged President Barack Obama's investment in education and affordable energy, as well as his immigration policies. Barack Obama saved me. Oh, Barack Obama. Thanks for raising taxes on poor people. You're so nice. Thanks for breaking all your promises. I feel so trendy right now. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans 
Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hey, now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com forward slash show. The bureaucracy's doing it. They don't care what the elected governments do. They <laughs> Black op squads are standing by. This is a takeover. George Soros is right up there at the top laughing the whole time. And now they're going to collapse the whole Southwest and bring us into depression and pose as the saviors over that because they don't care. And Obama doesn't care about being popular. He cares about getting his job done. We're going to your calls, but here's an article that was up on DrudgeReport.com. It's from Infowars.com. Texas town, no quarter for illegals. They've passed a law saying that they're not going to storm in government buildings there. Well, the Justice Department says that's not allowed. You will house them with your local tax money, and then the feds will give them the free welfare and the voting cards. Uh, but uh, here's one of the videos with Houston residents freaking out about what's happening, because Houston's probably already about 50% illegal, 20% Hispanic, 30% black, 10% white or something, I don't know. Is that 110%? I don't know. Let's go ahead and something like that. Uh, but let, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to this clip. These illegal immigrants don't have nowhere to go. So y'all gonna come over here to our neighborhood, open the school up for them, really? Is that right? No, wait a minute. Does anybody think that's right? To say Bernadette Lancelin is angry right. would be an understatement. She's black, I'm though. She can't. That, that the parents are, are in impossible. poor living uh, conditions or surroundings or whatever's going on out there. I don't care. Why does she support I Don care Johnson? about what's going on right here in my own backyard, my neighborhood. What's yeah. gonna keep them from escaping here and just moving around? Spoken like a true terrorist and a racist. You say two plus two equals four, you're a terrorist. But uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the total joke. And notice the reporter calls them unaccompanied children. Obama says you will now call them unaccompanied children. Everyone goes and salutes. Yes, sir. I mean, you will not use the word bossy. I will not use the word bossy. I mean, this is, this is a total joke. Let's game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> Derek in Ohio, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes. I find it outrageous that abortion is somehow accepted as women's rights, and yet people who choose to home birth is condemned and the risk of CPS investigating them. Well, because they don't want the kid born, but then if it's born, they want to take it away and get it in the hands of the state. I mean, period. Good parents are the number one target of CPS on record. Right. I mean, I see stories all the time where they know a kid's not getting fed dying and leave them there to die. But if it's a good Christian family, SWAT teams are coming. Anything else, sir? Go ahead. You've been holding. Um, no, just, just really witnessing this moral decline in this country where people don't... We're, so many people don't stand for anything. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. You know, I get really bummed out sometimes watching Free Society torn to pieces watching criminality grow other times i get real cynical and sarcastic because i think about the morons that support all this corruption they have no idea what they're doing but the technocrats on top do going back to derek in ohio yeah derek i mean it is a moral decline and the big thing is the churches have, for 50 years have been state run the big churches the, the glitter bug churches the cia with the name it and claim it fake right-wing churches out of Texas that went nationwide in the 70s and 80s, teach this prosperity message, they break up families, you name it. They're actually PSYOP officers, a lot of them. That's actually come out in the news before. 
uh, but a lot of these big preachers in San Antonio and Houston are actually on the government payroll. And if people didn't know that, you just search engine clergy response teams. We broke it, but there's actually newscasts, and it was declassified seven years ago. Uh, in fact, not a lot of them, almost all of them are. And they get off on power trips. They go to meetings. Uh, they have ranks. They salute. The lower levels don't. They're just auxiliary spies. And they're bringing the country down. And uh, that's why the Republicans won't do anything about the open border, because they're part of it as well. There's a rebellion by the Tea Party to try to fix it, but the, that's why they're going to just DEF CON 1 and just lowering the border completely, putting out the call as dozens of trains a day with thousands arrive. And uh, they're going to bring them to every town and then create a whole crisis out of that and then exploit those people as well. So the poor people being brought in from the collapsed regimes are in the same boat as those of us here. But it doesn't matter. They're still being used as a weapon. It'd be kind of like in the Civil War, you know, you might be fighting your brother across the line. It, still, they're being ordered and commanded to do things that will bring the country down. They are being politically programmed to vote, to end the family, end the Second Amendment, end private property. It's here. They're going to take over. And uh, they're going to blow stuff up and blame it on the Tea Party and come after us. I mean, that's what they're going to do. Now, we've, we've got the boldness to know the enemy's plan. And it's so epic that we're aware of the enemy's operation, have accurately predicted their next moves, and now we can stop them. But uh, people every day see me on the street and they say, thank you, we're glad you're there for us. Listen, brother, I'm here for me. If you're going to be free, I'm going to be free. I, I, everything's connected. And I'm doing this for the future and for justice. And because I have fight and flight. And I, I never really run. I'm not very good at running. I just tend to always go into fight. And so I'm doing it for you too. But buddy, I'm doing it for all of us. And I need you to get involved as well. I don't care what it is. You better just get moving. I mean, it's that simple. This is a takeover. And the globalists are organized. They got our tax money. And they've got their commanders in place. I mean, Rodriguez is so arrogant on and off the air where he admits he works for the government and will, you know, put out propaganda to open the borders and stuff. He's probably got a rank as well. I mean, they, they, I mean, they're trying to hire all the dentists I know through my dad to be in Homeland Security and spy on people and not for terrorism. I mean, this is a takeover, folks. This is North Korea. Uh, Derek, would you like to say anything about that or you got anything else you'd like to comment on? Well, I'd like to say that my wife and I are having our first baby and we're still so blessed and we realize that there is there's nothing more important in our lives right now. And I realize my time here is only that. It's not forever. And we and we were only thinking of our children and our children's future and what kind of world that they're going to be brought up in and what's actually going to happen. Um, this is just so crucial and to and to real and to see so many people that they're not inter young people. They're not interested in having families. They're not interested in having children. They just want to stay children themselves forever. It seems. I'm not trying to generalize all people, of course, but it. It's really something that I notice, and um, God just help us all. Carmageddon was supposed to happen out in L.A. a few years ago when they shut down one of the major highways for half a day to fix a bridge. No, ladies and gentlemen, Carmageddon didn't happen in L.A. It's happened here in Austin. Obama has been here since yesterday, and there has been nonstop traffic. I-35 northbound, southbound blocked. Southbound this morning, northbound now. We had a guest that was uh, going to be coming into studio, and then a landline, and can't even probably come on air because they can't get out of downtown because Obama was there this morning. The entire city is basically paralyzed with 20 miles of traffic backed up. We have a local news report here where he's out in Manor from about an hour ago with it backed up 20 miles into Austin. And by the way, this is right out by our office. We got to go shoot video of this. 20 miles of the traffic not moving. Yeah, Alex, the, the B-roll that we're showing is traffic heading out of Austin towards Manor, a suburb that uh, is... Nowhere near our metropolitan area as far as uh, any of his planned visits.
And look, the cops are all over. I saw it this morning. He'd already left town. They were just randomly blocking mix masters and highways just as some act of power. And, and that's what all of this is. It's just a total domination of the American people. Let's, let's play the audio uh, from some of that uh, newscast. And then I shot some video on my iPhone this morning of the traffic cams you know, th that they have where it just showed nothing moving on I-35 at 8 a.m. through 9.30 southbound with them just blocking waiting for him and then when he goes through like he's god while he goes around fundraising and again it gets worse and worse and worse but he won't go to the border uh let's go ahead and go to that report Welcome back to KXAN News at Noon. We are taking a live picture of State Highway 71 and the Tollway 130 and the traffic back up there is a parking lot uh, just outside of the airport near the Del Valle area. We um, assume this is the direction of the presidential motorcade, President Obama. And again, we've got a bunch of these videos. We've got new ones. We've got ones from when he was here uh, a year ago, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but again, I want to show the ones that I shot on my iPhone today. And again, we actually have video uh, of that. And again, they literally shut down the highways to do this. Okay, uh, let's go ahead now and go to Joe Biggs reporting from Marietta, Southern California with Kit Daniels on what transpired last night. He got an interview. The video is up on Infowars.com with the hundreds of, quote, socialists that arrived demanding open borders. Uh, and again, we finally did get some shots up there uh, showing the completely uh, open highway for hours so that Obama could drive down. And, and, and again, even after he was gone, even after he had left uh, and wasn't even in the city anymore, they still just kept it shut an hour later when I drove to work. Just, just, I think they should permanently just close the road because he drove on it. I'm serious. Like they used to take the wives of Viking kings and, and their children and burn them on a ship with his body. Why not blow the whole earth up just to honor Obama? I'm serious. How about some child sacrifice, like line the, blow, line the road with aborted babies? I mean, that's what they're into anyways. I guess they already heat hospitals with dead babies' bodies and Pepsi's baby-flavored. Why not? See, the maximum satire I can come up with, they're involved in. And then they have Democratic Party websites make fun of me for saying Caligula married his horse and the elites become correct, uh, you know, corrupt and decadent, knowing how ignorant their audience is, preying on the pseudo-fake bloated intellectuals who have five degrees and can't get jobs and are total failures and love it. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.